Okay, on today's video, I'm going to show you how a motorized valve operates and uh, also how to override the valve if you find that it's uh, not working and uh, you need to replace it, but you're without heating and hot water. Uh, so a motorized valve, uh, such as the one we've got here, which is a two port valve, uh, there's a motor inside the valve that uh, opens uh, the valve and uh, allows hot water and, or heating uh, through to your circuit and the valve is operated by an electrical signal from a time controller and uh, so when the time controller calls for heat the valve should open and it allows the hot water through the valve and into the system okay so I'm going to show you how the valve operates and what what to see on the valve when it's operating and then also what to do uh, if I say the valve is broken and uh, you need to get the heating on uh, while you uh, seek a replacement. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, I've got a regular uh, time clock here. Uh, so I'm gonna turn that time clock uh, to the on position. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what happens to the valve uh, uh, when that uh, time clock is in the on position. Now at the moment, what's happening is the valve is opening and it then, when the valve's open, it sends an electrical signal to the boiler to come in. Okay, now this lever below here, when the valve is open, it's free. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's free to move uh, backward and forward. So if I leave it to the right in the open position, uh, the valve is uh, letting water, uh, the motor, sorry, is, is allowing the valve to, to let water through into the system. But I'm going to turn the uh, heating off now and you watch what happens to the little lever here. It closes the valve. Okay. And again, if I, if I open the valve, so if I, sorry, if I turn the heating on, that valve will open, but it doesn't bring the lever across, but nevertheless, the lever is free. Okay. Again, I'll just do that again. So I'll turn the heating off. Watch the lever, it closes. Now, if the motorized valve's broken, uh, when you turn the heating on, uh, that, val that valve doesn't open and the lever is, is fixed. It won't, it won't move uh, left and right. Okay, so if you find that that's happened, all you need to do uh, while you seek a replacement is just pull the lever over to the right-hand side and there's a little lip that you can hook the lever around and that will allow the valve to manually be open. Uh, so say for example, if the heating or hot water goes down at the weekend or, or one uh, chilly night, uh, you can do that as a temporary fix uh, so that at least you've got hot water or heating until you can get a replacement. Okay, so that ends today's tutorial on the operation of a motorised valve.